Welcome guys, today let's go back to the past and play one of the first first person shooters ever, um, released the same year as Doom. So it's not the first, but it is one of the first, and it's called Ken's Labyrinth, published by Epic Mega Games back in 1993, and uh, designed by the great Ken Silverman, the creator of the build engine. And yeah, this game is still pretty fun to play even to this day, it's pretty unique. Yeah, it was unique in its time, it's unique even today, and you guys will see why. Welcome to Ken's Labyrinth, okay. See, Ken Silverman, copyright 1993. Let's choose the first episode. Don't touch me. Yeah. So yeah, this is the first game to make use of the build engine, which is used in subsequent more popular games like Duke Nukem 3D and Shadow Warrior, but this was the first one to use it. Um, and Ken Silverman is the creator of that, and this is his game, Ken's Labyrinth, obviously. And what I really like this game is really, like, it's got a really fun feel to it. Um, it has interactive objects, like this little water fountain here, I can drink from it. So this is something that uh, Duke Nukem 3D would later have, but um, Ken's Labyrinth is one of the first games to have interactive objects in the landscape. We have this nice map here and nice chicken legs in here, but yeah, I just like the cartoonish look of the of the game. It's really uh really fun. Let me shoot my little boo, my little uh, weapon here. Oh yeah, that's right. Stop sign to kill these like flying creatures. Even the creatures in this game look um kind of silly. Like it's for like a children's uh comic book or something. It's pretty fun. And the sound effects and music is pretty awesome too. Get this coin. Get to kill these little spiders. So if you uh, play it with the sound blaster card, and then you'll see that the sound effects are pretty awesome as well. Whenever, whenever I fire this weapon, Ken actually says "boo, boo, boo" when I fire this weapon. And uh, whenever I kill like a spider or something, then um, it sounds like a paper crumbling. <laughs> this is a soda machine. I can interact with it. Can buy like an apple, purple potion, blue coke, a uh, great blue coke, lightning, jelly bomb, starburst missile. These are like different um, weapons you can get later. I need 75 for blue light for lightning, jelly bomb 100, starburst 150, missile 200, compass. But you can find these later on in later levels as well by yourself without buying it from the vending machine. Ooh, there's a slot machine here too. You can play it. So it's really, fu it's really fun how they, they have all these interactive objects and stuff. This is one of the, the earliest games I know that has this, these features. The little spiders coming. These spiders will make a paper crumpling noise when they die. It's really funny. Look at the key. So yeah, you are Ken, and your goal is to get out of this labyrinth. Full of like spiders and robots. This is a robot. Yep, robots and stuff. It's unlocked. Let's go up the stairs. Nice job. And I love the sound effects. It's like Ken himself actually, um, he actually created these sound effects by himself. So it's actually Ken saying stuff like, welcome to Ken's lab and nice job and stuff. Ken himself. Oh, wow, something's hitting me. You can see my life bar down below and um, the weapons. I have four different weapons in this game. This red shooter, and then there's the other ones that I I went over at the at the vending machine before. So these bats. Let's see. This is actually the story. Search for Sparky. Okay, so the story is actually you lost your dog, and um, your dog got captured by aliens, and now you have to find you have to find uh, your dog in this like maze. Okay. In this labyrinth, basically. Ouch. Yeah, that's Ken Silverman saying that too. Ouch. Whenever you get hurt. Uh. <laughs> when he falls into the pit. Alright. Oh my god. Ouch, ouch. Oh. Yeah. 
shit this wall, shit this wall. That's a little bit easier than those other games which you have to really find the secret passages. Like Wolfenstein 3D and Blakestone and stuff, you have to push on every wall. And Catacomb Abyss as well. But uh, in this game they actually tell you to shoot walls and stuff. Oh my god, it's a lot of spiders. No key. Did you find that key? Ghost. Another hole. Oh. oh man, spiders. Okay, I need to eat some apples. It's getting low on health. This is so key. as I thought. Just open the key to get another key. Yes, apples, finally. And I like how after you eat the apple, it actually shows it being eaten. The uh, eaten apple right there. Nice job. That's a nice touch. Alright, level 3. Oh. There we go. Cue right there. Thank you. 
Okay. It's in here. Whoa. Come on. There's a map. Ooh, I got a cloak. That's cool. So that makes me harder to see by monsters, I guess. Okay, this map would be more useful if it were bigger. I guess I'm the flashing dot, but still, wow. It really is a labyrinth. Okay. You know what would be more helpful is having an in-game map, but yeah. <laughs> No, my cloak is gone. Okay. Actually, been used. Yes. Hmm, nothing. A lot of dead ends in this game. This can was pretty tricky when you designed these labyrinths. <laughs> these levels, I mean. That gives you more time, I believe. Right? No, more more score. <laughs> yeah, just more score. I like how the exit sign is like exactly like the emergency uh, exit signs in an actual store. The warp zone is the only route to the end of this floor. Go through the warp several times. Okay. Got it. Ooh. Pretty interesting level. Robots. Oh man.
Oh, another one. But yeah, this is uh, Ken's Labyrinth, and I just want to say this is one of my favorite first-person shooter games, just because um, it just it sounds so playful, and it plays really like a I don't know, a very unique kind of game where everything is really colorful and cheerful, and the music is really like cheerful too. And the and the character, even the, uh, the robot designs, the designs of the enemies and stuff in the game is. Uh, kind of childish and cartoony in appearance and I, I really like it. So the cartoonish look and feel of the game, uh, the light-hearted design, and it's just a, such a contrast to like another game like Doom which is very very serious. Uh, Ken's Labyrinth is a very, uh, not, not a very serious game, it's a very playful game and I like it. I wish more designs, I wish more games could take itself less seriously. And have like characters that make a crumpling noise when they die or uh, you don't see that many video game programmers making their own sound effects for their video games these days, but um, Ken's Labyrinth is one of those. A relic of a legacy time, I guess. And one of the first games, one of the first first person shooters to come out, and definitely the first one I've seen that has interaction with the environment, like vending machines and uh, slot machines and stuff, and drinking fountains. It's pretty cool. So yeah, if you guys um, want, you can give Ken's Labyrinth a try. Uh, you can download the share version or get the full version somewhere, I believe on the internet somewhere. It is an epic game, and I really do epic will release more of their old games, but uh, yeah, that is Ken's Labyrinth, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.